I don't know about you, but I am a huge Garth Brooks fan. And one of his songs that I like is the song called Beaches of Cheyenne. It's such a beautiful, although sad, but it's still a beautiful song. So when mom and I were doing our cross country road trip in 2021, and we were gonna be driving through Cheyenne, Wyoming, of course we're gonna stop. And wouldn't you know it, we found a quilt shop. May I introduce you to Around the Block Quilt Shop. I'm Barb Boyer, I own Around the Block. Come in. The Buck and Horse and Rider is the fabric that is uh, for our, our state. The Bucking Horse is a registered trademark for the state of Wyoming. Uh, that's my pattern. Uh, the one next to it is Hoffman Fabric and Mountain Peak Creations pattern called Times Three. And then the one in the corner is what we do with our free block of the month every year. So I create all the patterns for the free block of the month. This was about eight years ago or so. And in free block of the month, you get the free patterns, you choose all your own fabrics, and there's generally a theme. That theme was Wyoming. Our shelves are organized with a color wall over here for the most part. We have Western in here, Halloween is behind. Uh, florals up front. I try to keep my art gallery fabrics all together. Our batiks generally land on this side. The new stuff usually is in front. Kids and dogs, cats, and other kinds of animals tend to be over there. Flannel is back in the corner. And depending on when we get bolts of fabric in, uh, they go in holes. Wherever we have a hole, then that's where the new collections reside. So how long has the quilt shop been here, you said? I bought in November, uh, excuse me, in May of 2009, and we opened in November 2009. Okay. So we've been in business for 11, going on 12 years uh, from when I started, by, and then by the time we actually got this place open. Uh, we do a lot of embroidery. Uh, and wool. There are quilts in the other room with embroidery. Around the Block Quilt Shop truly is a gem out west. At this quilt shop, you can not only find a free block of the month, but also quilt challenges, long arm rentals, quilt classes, and much more. I uh, put all my effort into doing a newsletter. Oh, okay. I write a newsletter once a week. And in the newsletter, I put all the new fabrics in. Yeah. And I tell you about either events that are coming up, the, all the calendar uh, for the classes. Um, uh, like we just did a quilt challenge. Uh, it ended yesterday, so we have to get the quilt. We had, had two people uh, turn in quilts. Uh, so we have to get those quilts up uh, so everybody can see what, the, what that was. Um, anything else unusual that's going on? And then I wrote, write a short humor blog. This is our classroom. So right now we have Christmas in here, books, more patterns. Our classroom, uh, long arm quilting. I teach on the long arm and then you can rent it. Our newest block of the month are the houses that are up on the flannel board. So that's what we are doing uh, for this year. Um, the, the, the quilt is obviously not complete. I'm still, I will be designing blocks probably through December for that particular quilt. Up in the corner, clear up here. This is where we sit and knit or hand sew. So it's a, <laughs> uh, 
um, a little nook area. And then around the corner here, uh, we keep some more of the baby sorts of fabrics, a few quilts, and a lot of our un uh, different kinds of patterns, so our embroidery patterns uh, hang up here. Barb is actually one of my favorite shop owners that I've had the pleasure of interviewing so far on all my road trips. Not only was she an accomplished lawyer in her pre-quilting day ownership days, but now she's also a quilt shop owner, pattern designer, quilting teacher, and in her underestimated number has done probably at least 900 quilts. Do you sell the quilts or because they're um, like with the baby quilts or anything? No, no, they're just for show and most of the quilts will show off various patterns that we have for. So for example, this one is a turning 20 quilt. No, it's not. This is a take five quilt. That's a take five quilt. Uh, this is a chenille quilt. Uh, this is my pattern here. Uh, and then we have a few older quilts that wind up uh, on the top. Of course, Around the Block Quilt Shop is a draw of its own, but other things to see and do in Cheyenne, let's see, there's all kinds of museums around the area, but definitely go downtown and check out the old train depot. It is an amazing building and the history that's there, plus the town has the coolest thing that I think that we found on the whole cross-country road trip was the boot scavenger hunt. The quilt that's going on there is what I teach in beginning quilting. So our beginning quilt class just started. I teach it three times a year. It's an eight week course. And I teach color, pattern, and design uh, throughout the whole class. Students see 60 or 70 quilts. Uh, I teach them the fabric manufacturers, patterns, colors. Uh, I ask them to tell me how I chose my colors, how to find the blocks and all the quilts, what they would do differently in the quilts, what they like, what they don't like, so that they get their own sense. And then there are nine different blocks that I teach. <laughs> 